hello to this artist conversation within the exhibition Mycelia, where we're having an artist exchange between Munich and Riga and talk about networking as a female artist. The exhibition wants to ask questions about what does a healthy network look like, in particular when we through, look through the gender glasses about um, how networking as a female artist or female producer actually looks like, because the true reason or the true um, moment is that um, even in 2020, gender, race and social background still shape our notions of success and also how success will look like eventually. We asked in the, in the exhibition what a healthy network looks like, in particular in a neoliberal society where we put competition over solidarity. What does artistic success require and what does a healthy artistic ecosystem actually mean? And um, we are right now recording all these artist conversations uh, due to the impact of Corona as we have a physical exhibition, but due to the safety measurements in place, we need to adjust the format of the exhibition and we wanted to open the necessary conversation with an audience. So this is the reason why we're recording the conversation and today I'm having the big pleasure to talk to Sandra Strele, who is an artist based in Riga. And um, before we continue to start in the conversation, Sandra, maybe you want to jump in what kind of work you provided for the exhibition and how they relate to the topics of network, artistic success, ecosystem and detoxification. And for that reason, I'm going to share my screen so that we can at least have a look about the works you provided for the exhibition. Yep, thank you. Um, for the exhibition, I made a couple of, uh, like a painting series that's called Exotic, is it not? Um, I was um, focusing together with my partner on the exotic plants from Soviet times and German times. Uh, the plants in Germany and the plants in uh, Soviet offices. And uh, they used to be very exotic, like cactuses and palms and um, rubber, wood and different kind of other mm. plants. And then I um, came to an, an idea that the woman body is also some kind of an exoticity. And then I started making like a different exhibition views, trying to put my works that I have made, made uh, previously and also uh, new ones into different exhibition spaces. Also, um, trying uh, to depict the idea that every artist uh, in his or her life uh, usually makes um, a definite amount of exhibitions, but the ideas the artists have are usually much more. And also um, the possibilities and also the, the success of artists, like, um, is, it's all, not always so easy to make ex big exhibitions and big exhibition spaces and to realize all the ideas that artists have. And so I was trying, and then I came to an idea that maybe I could just paint the exhibition spaces and make some, and put some, put the ideas into them. I'm gonna show while you're explaining a bit more. This is the installation. This is your project partner, Penelope, with in there relating the pieces that you've sent in. Um, your work touches a lot on, on a lot of parts that are quite important for the exhibition. One is, of course, the gender uh, aspect of success, but it's also a very interesting way to look at um, the artistic success as sort of this final product, which is a piece that is finished and will be included in an exhibition. And part of, the, um, part of the whole notion within the exhibition has been when we talk about success, we need to talk about failure as well, right? Because we cannot talk about one polarity yeah. without mentioning the other. So did you, did you think about the notion of failure in the work or how does it relate also to the binary of success and failure? 
Yeah, I think, yeah, success is always something that comes together with the failure. And I think it's also the failure probably is that you, if you make a lot of works in some kind of time period, and then you don't have a place to exhibit them. So the success means that you always work for um, concrete exhibitions, but if you don't have them in the plan, so it's not, not uh, always so easy to, uh, to make yourself, yourself work, actually. Yeah, and I also, um, I mean, of course, the exhibition is centered around the female um, participation because gender, as we say it, and I mean, gender is a construct. We have, we don't have to talk about that. It's not just men and women. I mean, there are a lot of polarities in between, but um, we look on success through the gender construct that our our society is built on because we are built on systemic conditions and i find it really interesting that you use the female body within the exhibition which has a long uh, his, uh history but you use it also in the sense of the ecosystem right because one part of the exhibition we're using the thought model of the fungus the mycelia which are thread-like um uh, roots that run in the soil and build a healthy ecosystem in the soil, so in the, in the forest, and are by definition building the largest ecosystem on earth. And I find it very interesting that you put the organic body and you put the organic plants in a one context. Can you elaborate a bit more on the aspect or the role of the female body in, the, in your work? Yeah, the female body I used also like a symbol of, some, uh, of the man's gaze because usually uh, it's also very historical in art history that a lot of uh, paintings depict uh, women bodies and the men are those who look at them. And now I just wanted to, uh, to make the viewer, um, to, make, to give the viewer a possibility like to see the paintings of uh, women body in different exhibition spaces and some and in some paintings i also use the uh, use the figures of men that only the only visitors of the exhibition of the exhibitions that i have painted are men yeah like here yeah which also brings it back when we look into the notion of um ecosystem and success we all we have to talk about the the notions of accessibility and inclusion and diversity that's all uh, always kind of in the framework of success and i find it really interesting when we look into the model of the art world and we see the binaries and the hierarchies that are established in the art world and how by mimicking the situation and basically showing an exhibition set in an exhibition you're basically talking about how these hierarchies are also set within the art world and how success is somehow interconnected into all these other topics and frames. Yeah. So if we're going a bit more on a personal scale, what did you learn in the mini collaboration through the exhibition and what kind of challenges did you, for example, overcome? I really enjoyed working together with Penelope. I think we have um, had a lot of great ideas and hopefully we, we make uh, another project together as well. Actually, this was uh, the first time for me when I work uh, together with someone like in a digital way. Because uh, in the beginning, we started uh, talking, uh, looking for some images and making comments on uh, each other works. And I think it's a good way to, how to learn the people you are working with and uh, also to, to get a lot of uh, great ideas because you have, to, uh, you have to explain your ideas very well so that the other, <clears throat> the other people understand when you write them. Because uh, otherwise, in the real life, when you show your paintings or your show the images you're going to use, it's easier. But in the emails or in the Skype conversations, you have to be quite exact. Yes, yeah, the communication is a, an essential skill. Yeah. And if we continue to expand on the 
personal notion because as soon as we talk about success and any notion that is connected to it, we have to make it personal, right? So what are your thoughts around artistic success? Um, around uh, about artistic success, I think that um, that it's a thing that uh, goes together with the devel development of an artist. If you work quite a lot and if you use the possibilities of uh, participation in exhibitions and uh, that kind of stuff, I think it comes together with the artists. But of course, it's always something about. Um, for women artists, it's not always so easy because uh, we have also different kinds of periods in our lives. For example, if we, uh, if uh, some we have some children or something, then it's already uh, not so easy to uh, go on with the, the production of works. And it's also very easy to lose the success. That's, I think, something very important that we touched up on in a lot of the conversations that success for many is sort of a one dimensional thing that is always connected to the, um, to power and to wealth instead of thinking that success might be more of a process that changes throughout our lives, depending on what kind of a period in life we are, if we have yeah. to take care of children, if we have to take care of elderly people, or if we are um, uh, in a specific health condition where we just have to adjust to our own needs. And um, instead of seeing it as a goal, it might be more of an ability to adjust to the circumstances we are in. And I think at least through the exhibition, we tried to broaden this one dimensional definition of what success might look like and understand that success is much more complex and has so many more layers to it and um, makes the conversation about it maybe a bit more interesting and meaningful if we're not just looking into success is uh, connected to hustling and grinding and um, yeah. money and power, right? Especially right. for women. That's true. And um, we, we've touched a lot already on histories and sort of a, a specific feminist lens. Um, can you go a little bit deeper into um, uh, solidarity in networks, maybe even in connection with feminism and what kind of structures help you personally in your practice? Um, oh, I think I really... Yeah, I have to think a moment, I think, in my life. I think I have always been a little bit feministic because I uh, also from the physical aspects of my work, I have uh, always done the, you know, a lot of men are usually helping women to, uh, to put the paintings on the walls or something. But I think I have done it always by myself. And I think, yeah. <laughs> but is there anything that you feel, um, maybe even if going into the notion of um, sisterhood and support and um, the way that um, visibility shapes the discourse, is there anything despite that you feel that you have been not so much relying on external help that you can relate to women and solidarity? Mm -hmm. um, I think feminism in Latvia it's not not um, so developed yet and so the, so there are a lot of things we could do in Riga by making also such kind of exhibitions we are making right now. I think what, what makes me curious now that you say that is maybe an angle about what would you hope for, which structures would you need as a female artist right now in Latvia that would support you? Mom, I think maybe some uh, exhibition making, so it's also the exhibition funding and uh, also a lot of um, <clears throat> 
um, people who work in the field of culture, they are not men, but uh, women mainly. And maybe it's because the salaries are um, less than in other fields, like, and so it also goes together with the salaries because men in Latvia, they are getting uh, bigger salaries than uh, women. I think that's I a think, problem in a lot yeah. of countries, yeah. And it's also, uh, it's very clear in uh, the field of culture. Yeah, yeah. So you would argue or hope for a better balance and a better representation between the genders and also a better support system, in particular for women artists and women working in the cultural sphere. Yeah. Yeah, because I think despite us saying that success and the accumulation of wealth is not just a definition of uh, success, financial stability on the other side is a very important category of success and being able to sustain oneself um, in, in the production part. What do you think that um, a, a successful collaboration, which qualities do we need for a successful collaboration? For a successful collaboration, I think we need to have a good conversation at first. Mm -hmm. And then of course, if it's an international collaboration, there's um, always a need for, um, for, I would say, good theoretical basis and so that there is a um, good idea if it's an uh, exhibition about feminism then it's uh, the, the idea is clear yeah and i think of, of course also some financial uh, some funding for exhibition and some um, yeah uh, uh. i think that's been already a wonderful conversation. You just mentioned a successful collaboration needs a good communication. It's been a joy and pleasure to talk to you today. And for you, dear viewer, in case you haven't seen it, as part of the digital mediation format, we are releasing an artist conversation, a guided tour in German and in English. Uh, in order to get in touch with you, we're using on social media the hashtag Mycelia Muk, Mycelia as our exhibition title and MUC for Munich in order to develop a conversation. We're really interested to know about your definitions and notions and thoughts around artistic success moving forwards because I think one of the big challenges right now is to redefine success during a pandemic and how to move on, what kind of networks what kind of solidarity do we need right now? How can we help each other to get through this? And we would really love to hear from you. So until next time, thank you so much.